Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun. Here's your channel's TV evening news recap for Tuesday, June the 4th, 2019. Muslim faithful in Nigeria joined their counterparts across the world today to celebrate Eid al-Fitr, marking the end of the 30-day Ramadan fast. The day started with Muslim faithful holding Eid prayers, after which they exchanged goodwill visits with friends and loved ones, with many of them participating in large celebrations in homes or community centers. Speaking at the traditional Salah homage after the Eid prayers in the federal capital territory Abuja, President Mohamed Buhari assured Nigerians that he will continue to do his best to provide security for the nation. Nigeria's permanent representative to the United Nations, Ambassador Tijani Mohamed Bande, has emerged president of the 74th UN General Assembly. Ambassador Mohamed Bande, who was the sole candidate for the position, was elected at the 87th plenary meeting of the Assembly in New York today. He is the second Nigerian to hold the office after retired military officer and diplomat Joseph Garba. A funds valued at over £211 million belonging to late head of state General Sunny Abacha had been seized from a Jersey bank account. The money had been lodged in accounts held in Jersey by Doraville Properties Corporation, a British Virgin Islands company. Jersey's government will hold the money until it reaches an agreement with the US and Nigeria on how it should be distributed. Well, the Kano Public Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission has recommended the suspension of the Emir of Kano, Mohamed Senussi II, over allegations of misappropriation of the Emirate funds and obstruction of the ongoing investigation. The Executive Secretary of the Commission, Muhui Magaji, told our correspondent that it is necessary for the Emir to be suspended in order for the investigation to proceed. And on the foreign scene, Sudan's protest movement has called for fresh rallies and rejected the military ruler's election plan after more than 35 people were killed in what demonstrators called a bloody massacre by security forces. Protest leaders called on their supporters to take part in total civil disobedience to topple the ruling military council following the deadly dispersal on Monday. And that's the news recap. Join us tomorrow for fresh updates. I am Ayotunde Balogun. Thank you for watching.